All right, I'm gonna do a repair here on an outside hydrant. It's been leaking, and it's not leaking today, but you can see to turn it off, I've had to break this, and this just keeps spinning around, so I'm going to... Okay, so I turned off the water to the house at the street, and pulled this out, but as you can see, it is still dripping. So I'm going to have to take the whole thing off. Okay, it took a lot of torque to get this to move, but it can be moved by hand. I'm going to pull this out here, hopefully. Okay. So, here's the problem. I've got new ones, and I'm going to replace it. All right, here's the new one. I think it was like 30 bucks at Home Depot or Lowe's. And it came with this pipe insulation, but that cannot fit in that hole. So I'm just going to forgo that. I live in Texas, I think I'll be okay. I'm gonna put some number five recto seal on it and um, should be good to go. Just tighten it on in there. One tip on this recto seal, uh, if you leave it in your garage for five years, like I think I have, then you need to uh, work it back and forth inside, open it up, spread some out. It should come out as a creamy paste, not a brown liquid. But I think I've got it. We're going to apply some. Okay, so I got it applied. It's runnier than I would like it to be. Kept it out of the inside there. And now I'm going to go over and put it in the slot. Hopefully everything works and that's all we have to do. I will make a video. Okay, we're going to put this in very carefully. And of course it won't fit, so I have to chip out a little bit of that mortar there. Okay, I used my pliers just to go around, just enough to open that up. And I put this in. I haven't screwed it in yet, so I'm going to try to do that one-handed and hold the video so you can see it. Feels like it's getting tighter. All right, I'm gonna try to go around another turn. May or may not happen, but I definitely want this to be solid. Got plumber wrench over there just in case, but I haven't had to use it yet. Use these expandable ones. Oh yeah, it could go around again. Okay, I turned the water back on at the street. Here's the moment of truth. And turn it off. See if it leaks. It's dripping a lot, but I'm betting that's normal. So I'm gonna watch it for about 20 minutes, come out and see if it's dripping. Here's the old hydrant. Um, I just call it a water faucet. Apparently it's called a hydrant, and um, if you have to save some money, probably take that washer right there at the end of that screw, replace that, the um, rubber grommet, and uh, work on replacing some of this. But for 30 bucks, it was easy enough just to take and put in a new one. So it's been about two hours since I did the repair, and it's all dry over here, so it looks to have been successful.